Hey there, YouTube. Cheers. Cheating, drinking a little bit of soda here. It's 11.30 in the evening on April the 16th. It's a Tuesday. Thought I'd get in, get on. I just got in within the last several days um, some Discogs orders of primarily uh, promo 45 12-inch singles and LPs, a few stock LPs uh, were in there. I, I did another one last week of another uh, larger order that came in, but these are representative of some of the smaller orders that I placed. I think I placed eight or nine total orders, all but two have come in and so uh i have a stack of we're gonna separate i'm gonna separate it this time i have a stack of promo 45s that came in all of the orders that i've gotten in so far and i'll do a separate video for the 12 inch singles and for the lp so let's get started i hope that everyone is doing well thank you so much for watching the first uh up uh, contestant uh ram jam black Betty, this is a mono stereo promo 45 that comes in at 2 minutes 32 seconds. This is an edit done for radio. This was a, a, a rock band, but this song uh, crossed over. When In my youth, uh, I liked house music when I was in high school in the uh, mid-80s. And then uh, years later, maybe 94, I met my wife. Um, she was... a uh, Hughes, they call them house heads in Chicago. I'm from Chicago, don't live there anymore. Um, and so every Wednesday, we would go to a club called The Warehouse, and they would play this song every single week, mixing it in sometimes two, three times a night. So, um, but it's a good song, and I enjoy that radio edit. Here's some Rufus featuring Shaka Khan. You got the love stereo mono mix at uh, two minutes uh, 54 seconds i believe that this is a radio uh edit of that song andy gibb shadow dancing uh which is a um stereo mono mix of uh the this is just the standard stock 45 copy which i believe is also the lp uh, version. I decided to get this because I do like this song. Um, there's also a promo 12-inch single that uh, is very popular that it, that contains a extended version of this song that's only available on promo 12-inch uh, that I do have. It gets pricey, but I was blessed. I got mine. Uh, well, I've had two copies in my lifetime. Uh, the last one that I got about 10 years ago that was a replacement for the other copy uh, I got from an indoor flea market for $1. Uh, and most of these 45s are between 2 and I think the most expensive one is maybe $14, $15 or so. <clears throat> so everything was really uh, well priced. Here is Cameo Funk Funk. Uh, this is a stereo mono promo of this classic cameo song this i believe is just the standard seven inch version when i was a kid my sister uh had this first on the 45 then she got the album and uh, my sister stephanie played the heck out of this and i did too it's a great song it takes me back to my childhood this one was a blind buy uh, every time I buy records, be it in a local record store or online, I just try to pick out something, a few things for artists or songs uh, that I'd never heard of before. Uh, so this was called Spiritual Concept. I don't want to hear. Uh, this is a stereo mono mix at three minutes and six seconds, I believe. This is an edit of the LP version. I really like this song. I might um, look and get some more of their stuff. In fact, I may have put this album on my 
pointless on Discogs, but I enjoyed it. I was glad to get that. ABC, The Look of Love, Part 1. Uh, this is a double A, uh, double A side, meaning it's Part 1. Stereo makes on both sides. Foreigner, this nice picture sleeve, which I have to switch out to a regular um, white sleeve. Uh, I want to know what love is. This is a um, edit that I believe is for the radio, um, and it's the same edit on both sides, coming in at four minutes, and it looks like 38 seconds. This is a great tune, Foreigner, Expanding Their Horizons. Uh, there's a, a choir on this song. Uh, really great. I enjoy that record. Talking Heads, and she was double A side stereo 336 on both sides. More Rufus and Shaka Khan dance with me. Uh, stereo mono mix coming in at 3 minutes 57 seconds. I believe this is the stock 45 version as well. This was a mistake. Uh, Sheila E., I love Bazaar. This was supposed to be a promo 12 inch with part one on both sides, but I just got the regular stock copy. The vendor that I bought this from did offer to refund it, uh, but I declined. This was a dollar fifty. Uh, and the stock copy I think is worth uh, this because what I really, really want is the promo 12 inch uh, that has the edited version and the uh, regular LP part one and part two on there. But it's pricey. I think the last time I checked Discogs, they were going in the neighborhood of $40. And I'm just not willing to spend that kind of cash on a promo 12-inch for a song that I like. But I have the album, which has the long version on it anyway. And that's what I can listen to. Uh, here's some more George Benson on Broadway. Mono, stereo mix. This is a 7-inch uh, edit, the standard uh, 45 copy. Uh, at 5 minutes and 14 seconds. Here's some Jones Girls. This was another blind by uh, Hey Lucinda. I, I didn't realize that the Jones Girls recorded uh, for uh, Curtis Mayfield's Curtum label, uh, but apparently they did. And um, this song is called uh, Hey Lucinda. It's a stereo mono mix coming in at 3 minutes, 29 seconds. I listened to it in... I'm going to have to listen to it a couple more times, uh, but I was glad to get it. Just I'm very familiar with the Jones Girls, Philadelphia International stuff, but I was not familiar with this. I believe this came out in yeah, 1975. Uh, well, this one was a, I ordered this by mistake. I already had it, the Manhattans. I kind of miss you, uh, mono, stereo. But I already had it, didn't realize it until after I had it. It was $2, no big deal. Here's some Night Ranger, uh, Sister Christian, one of my favorite songs. Double A side, stereo mix on both sides. This is the version that does not have, this is the promo that does not have the guitar solo. I think this was done for radio, but I'm not 100% sure. Here is some Steely Dan, Hey 19, one of my favorite Steely Dan records. Some Steely Dan... Uh, promos can get a little pricey. This one, not so much. Hey, 19, I'm, I guess, blessed, you could say, to have um, cheap taste sometimes when it comes to records. Although some of their uh, some of their promos are really expensive for Steely, Steely Dan. One of the ones that I want is the promo 12-inch of uh, the song Asia, which I really, really like. But that uh, promo 12-inch goes again. I think the last time I checked Discogs, it was the f the one or two that they had was starting at $45, $50. No, thank you. Uh, but this runs at $418. It's, I'm sorry, $427. This is an edit of the LP version, but it's the same version as the commercial 45. Here is Gino Vanelli. I just want to stop mono. Stereo uh, comes in at 334, which is the same as the commercial 45 and the LP. This song is really special to me, having just recently lost my mom uh, a couple of months ago, two months ago to the date. Um, when I was a kid, my mother had this 40, 
file a stock copy of it. And she really liked it. And my mom and I would just uh, dance to this song sometimes. Uh, my mom was a, a little lady, maybe five, two, five, three, 110 pounds. But when I was a real small, skinny, short kid, and so I had to stand in a in a chair in a chair in the dining room to dance with my mom. But we had some great time dancing to this song. I just want to stop. And so I I have an LP, uh, but I don't have this on a 45. So I decided to get this. There's another uh, song on a 45 that took me back to my mom's days. I'll get to it later. In fact. That 45 hasn't come in yet, but I also have the 12 in, so we'll talk about that on the next video. Here's some Luther Give Me the Reason, uh, double A side, stereo on both sides, coming in at 438. It's the same as the commercial uh, 45 version. This is just one of the songs, many songs by Luther that I am a big fan of. And so when I was shopping at this one vendor, they had a copy of it, maybe $2, if two three dollars something like that it was cheap shannon let the music play this is a double uh both sides are stereo this has one side has what they call the long version which comes in at 438 i want to say the other side is the short version which comes in at three and this is 322 uh the 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 long version is the standard 45 version uh this other short version i believe was done specifically for radio there's a lot of variations of this one song it was released originally in canada on the unidis label then on the emergency label in the u.s then picked up by uh the mirage label uh, which is a atlantic records distributed label i do actually have a, a promo 12 inch on the emergency label that i got into um, but uh, I'm pretty sure this short version was just was done specifically for probably pop radio stations that uh, and uh, R&B radio stations that didn't play a lot of dance music. Uh, here's some Prince, 1999. Uh, this is a stereo mono mix, uh, the standard stock 45 version at 335. Glad to get this. I believe I paid maybe five six dollars for this um lately i have been finding a lot of prince promo 45s and 12 inch singles excuse me at very very reasonable prices before i didn't really collect a lot of uh 12 inch singles promo 12 inch singles and 45s for prince because they were typically so pricey but here just lately i've gotten uh quite a few of them and i'm glad and so as i've seen more i've started to look for more and i one of the things i remember prince complained about was that uh, when he was signed to warner brothers they didn't want to allow him to release music as frequently as he made it he could i think he could do an album in probably three four weeks if that long and have it mastered and ready uh for release but they wouldn't allow him to and i when i read about that i got so upset hey letting you know let the man release his music you're stifling his uh you know his creative juices but as i uh collect these singles and uh, uh 12 inch singles and 45 uh 70 singles rather it's a lot of them uh prince uh, i'm glad they slowed him down because it's Trying to get everything is hard, but I did get this. I also have this on a commercial 12-inch uh, single as well that I recently got for 5 bucks. Again, it's not a promo, but it's a, a, it's a, it's a, I couldn't find it on Discogs. It seems like it might be a UK pressing, but I'm not 100% sure, but I was glad to get it. Uh, moving on, the Human League human one of my favorite songs i think this came out in 85 or 86 when i was in high school this is just a uh, double a sided uh promo 45 the same song on both sides uh this is the seven inch version 
that I can't even see the time on here, but it's, memory serves me correctly, it's around three and a half minutes. Uh, there is a promo 12 inch of this with some extended versions uh, that I do have, but I do like this version as well. Here's some Peter Brown dance with me. Uh, uh, double A sided, both sides are stereo, running at 345, which I believe is the stock um, 45 version as well. Nothing special on that one. Uh, almost done. Here's some George Benson, the greatest love of all one of my favorite songs. This was another one. My mother had this, <clears throat> excuse me, on a 45 when I was a kid, and we would dance to this sometimes. This has a long version. I don't know, 418. This is, oh, this is a stereo and mono mix at 418, which uh, I believe is a radio edit, the stock 45 verse. So there were two variations of the commercial or stock 45. There was one that has an edit that's around 330 something, and there's another one that has the regular LP version, which is around five and a half minutes. Uh, but this one at 418, this was um, likely just uh, done for radio to expand it out. It's a great edit. I really do like it. A great song. Here is Ron Banks in the Dramatics, Me and Mrs. Jones. Uh, mono stereo mix coming in at 358, which I believe is just the regular commercial. 45 version, which is an edit of the LP version. The LP version of this is uh, well over six minutes. Here's some James Brown, uh, Try Me. Uh, James Brown and his famous flames on the Smash label. Uh, and then Papa's got a brand new bag on the other. I believe both sides is stereo. And so if you uh, may or may not know James Brown, when he was still signed to the King label, there was some sort of a disagreement contract dispute. So he signed with uh, the Smash label, which is a subsidiary of Mercury. And he started releasing music. And so, of course, King Records sued. And I believe the settlement allowed James Brown to continue to record for this label. But everything that he recorded for this label had to be an instrumental song. Nothing with vocals. And of course, James Brown played the organ and so a lot of it is organ music and so um this version is okay i got it i think it was five dollars i wasn't familiar with this version uh try me is okay i do like papa's got a brand new bag a little bit more though um a couple more ronnie mcnair uh for your love um this is a stereo uh, mix on both sides coming in at 258 on the prodigal label which i believe was also the commercial 45 um this came out i want to say in 75 here's some more prints again this was i think five dollars uh this is purple rain uh on one side and uh his song god on the other, on a purple vinyl, great shape. Uh, this has the edit of uh, Purple Rain that comes in at four minutes and two seconds. The version of God on this is three minutes, 59 seconds. I don't believe this song was ever released commercially on an LP. God was. Great, great song, though. Here's some Isaac Hayes. Theme from Shaft uh, in stereo, and then Cafe Reggio, the instrumental version, which uh, was not on the LP. The uh, Shaft uh, comes in at 3 minutes and 15 seconds, which is an edit, I believe, of the LP version, but also the same as the commercial 7-inch version. And 
Here we go. The Dramatics, Welcome Back Home. Great Steppers tune from The Dramatics uh, coming in at... You don't see it. It is an edited of the LP version. I think it says 308. I can't see. I don't have my glasses. But this is one of my favorite songs by the Dramatics. And here was a bonus in one of the LP covers <laughs> that I opened this weekend uh, was the Isley Brothers Shout Part 1. Part two, not a promo 45, but it is part of the RCA Gold series. Uh, I didn't order it, didn't pay for it, came with it. Finders keepers, and so hey, I'll take it. 345. That's it for the promo 45s. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of the love and the support uh, from you guys over the time, especially with the loss of my uh, mom. You guys make it so much better and easier. Um, just to cope with life. I pray that everyone is um, doing their best to take care of yourselves and each other. Um, let's just find some common ground and religious, political uh, feelings aside. Let's just find some common ground and just love each other. So thanks again for watching. Part two will be coming with the promo 12-inch singles and LPs. Thank you. God bless you.